Hello you guys and welcome to today's vlog. It is currently blizzarding outside. You could probably hear it, but it's nuts. We are getting this winter storm. But anyways, today is just gonna be a chill snow day vlog with me. So I just made my coffee. I have a espresso latte with almond milk in it and it is so good, so freaking warm. I usually do iced coffee, but Today, I was like, I'm doing hot coffee. So I have an exciting day of cooking ahead because I found this recipe on Pinterest a while back, actually kind of around Christmas time, to make bagels and to make the flour out of like two or four ingredients or something. It's like Greek yogurt, flour, and then I think salt and baking soda or baking powder. And it came out so good, like the bagels were so, so good. So I'm gonna try that flour recipe and make pizza out of it. So I got all my ingredients yesterday. I'm gonna show you guys that in a second. But first, I wanna show you the cute little espresso cups I got from Target. They were literally $5, but look how cute they are. And they fit a double shot of espresso in it because I just tried it out with my espresso machine. So very cute. And they all look the same. They're all just these little white cups that say espresso on it. And they came with a holder. They came with this holder. So you can kind of just like slide them in. How does this work? Yeah. Slide them in like this. And then they'll all sit in there. That is so cute. So good start to my morning. Also, my dog Casey is like terrified of the snow. She <laughs> refuses to go out unless we hold her. She's a boxer. She's so heavy. She's huge. But she's a little baby. So let me show you the groceries that I got last night for the pizza. We've got two cheeses. So this one is mozzarella cheese. This one is vegan pepper jack cheese. I love pepper jack cheese. I've never tried the vegan one, so I'm hoping it's good. But yeah, we have two options just in case one doesn't come out as good. I also picked up some pesto sauce because I don't usually like using the marinara sauce. I just feel like it's super heavy, so pesto it is and then also got some arugula i couldn't find spinach because yesterday when i went to the market late at night it was like kind of the start of the storm and literally the shelves were empty like there was going to be a freaking apocalypse but i got arugula <laughs> also got some pepperoni so i'm officially going to start making the dough so i'll show you a little bit of that <laughs> So I just let the dough sit for like 15 to 20 minutes and now we're gonna start putting all of our toppings on it. So let's do it. First, let me show you the dough. This is what the dough is looking like. I just rolled it into little balls and then I'm going to roll it out into a little pizza shape. Cue the pizza montage. <laughs> Pizzas are in the oven. I'm so excited to try these, so stay tuned. Okay, little taste test. I took it out of the oven. This does not look good right now, but it tastes good. I just haven't tried this one yet. I made like four different ones. This one has pesto on it, onions, pepperoni, and cheese. So, cheers. <laughs> Not bad. The pesto is good. Mm. Actually, it's pretty good. I would give this like a 7 out of 10. I think maybe if there was like marinara sauce, the dough would be more tasty. But for a four ingredient dough, honestly really good. Cheers. Oh, 
Okay, so we are currently at the park. We are going to go sledding. So you guys will definitely see some clips of that. I'm probably gonna switch over to my phone just so I don't like break my camera in the making of these clips. But yeah, let's go. And we are done with sledding and snowboarding. That was so much fun. I used my little snowboard, my $4 snowboard. I honestly don't know where I got it, but so much fun. I literally look a mess, my hair is everywhere. It's not in my nose, but we're going home and probably gonna have some hot coffee or hot chocolate. Next day, this lighting is like not okay right now. But I just went to this drive-through coffee spot that just opened near me called Buzzed. And I got this coffee, I need to mix it up, but it is an iced caramel latte with vanilla cold foam. Let's try this. The cold foam is always like a hit or miss at coffee shops, I feel like, but cheers. Okay. It's actually pretty good. It's not like super thick, but it's not where it's just like foamy, you know what I mean? But yeah, no, I like it. And it looks pretty, so that's plus. <laughs> I actually haven't tasted the coffee yet because of the cold foam, but I will give you my thoughts on that in a little bit. I also got this banana nut muffin. Look how pretty it is. Like, wow. The smell of it, honestly, was reminding me of, like, school. Like, school muffins for some reason. I don't know why, but it's, like, a very strong smell. Like, wow, yeah. Oh, my gosh. It reminds me of, like, my elementary school cafeteria. Stop. I just got so much nostalgia in that. Oh, my gosh. That is so weird. I'm over here like freaking out about a muffin, but like, wow, that smell is crazy. I cannot believe how much it reminds me of that. Wow, let's take a bite. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now I'm getting like Belvita. You know those banana breads from Belvita? Mmm. Those are so good. Wow, this is like steaming. No worries, just me stuffing my face. My camera just ran out of memory, but I was saying that the muffin top of it isn't like super hard like other muffins are which i kind of like it's just very soft so i think i'm gonna give this like a six out of ten but very nostalgic <laughs> okay i'm gonna go drive back home i have class in a couple hours so i'm kind of just gonna like look over the material right before it because it's online and online classes are kind of tough to like grasp all in one especially because it is like a three hour class almost so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then 
I will talk to you guys later. Oh, and also snow day was so fun. Like super fun. We went sledding. So much fun. But you guys saw all those clips. And yeah, now I'm very on the edge of going to buy a GoPro. I don't know if that made sense, but I'm like really close to going to buy a GoPro. So stay tuned.